to add crypto payments to your website. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how you can add any kind of crypto payments to your website. So let's get into it. Now crypto has become an integral part of all kinds of businesses. It is now kind of like a essential to get started with crypto, to have crypto payments in your website. And there is a simple way that you can accept crypto payments, even if you don't know much about crypto. You really don't need to do that. You just need to have a basic understanding of crypto to be able to integrate it onto your actual website. So you can do this on any kind of website. For this video, I will be linking the crypto payments to my WordPress website, but you can really do this and I will explain how you can do this on other platforms as well if you're using, you know, something like Wix or any other platform. So the way that you actually go on about adding crypto payments, you can't really do it natively on any kind of website builder. You have to use an integration like NIMIQ, uh, you can call it Nimiq, but this is a simple integration that allows a open source payment system of cryptocurrency and it basically allows people to use cryptocurrency as the secure payment system that it is while still enabling you as a independent business owner or just a simple business owner to accept crypto payments in an effective and efficient manner. Now, you guys can see that it is a one-stop crypto shop. You can send cryptocurrencies in multiple different currencies from Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other kind of crypto token. And everyone is equal and it is fast and secure, so you don't have to worry about anything like a security breach or anything of that sort. Now, to get started, simply head on over to your WordPress dashboard or the dashboard of any website builder that you are using. Then you want to click on plugins and this option might be as a application on Wix or as an integration. So you just want to go into plugins. Once you are in plugins, click on add new. Once you click on add new, you can see on the right side of your screen, you have a search bar. So just search for NIMIQ. And once you do that, you will see this first application. So it's cryptocurrency checkout, except Bitcoin, Ethereum, and an IMIQ. So you will click on this and you will click on install now and it will be installed. Then you will just click on activate. And once you activate it, uh, you will be able to see uh, you have your entire checkout. You can click on view details and then you can go into your um you know woocommerce settings it's one of the most used platforms so i'm going to go on ahead and add woocommerce as well just to show you guys how it would look like so just taking a couple of seconds and then you can just activate your store just like that and then you have your basic setup for woocommerce or you know any kind of shopping industry that you are in so i'm just going to set all of this up now once you have your store set up you guys will be able to see now i've just added woocommerce i haven't even set up my store i can do that later on but i've added woocommerce and now once you go into your plugins once more you're going to scroll down and you will be able to see cryptocurrency checkout by nimiq the first application that we installed so now you will see this little settings item appear on the left side of your screen. If you have already not activated your storefront, then you won't see the settings icon. So you will have to do that beforehand. Then you will just click on settings over here. Now this will open up your payments in WooCommerce. Now, once you have that, you can scroll down and you guys will be able to see your NIMIQ wallet address. So obviously, if you want to enable crypto payments, you will have to accept crypto payments in any kind of crypto wallet. If you already have one, that is amazing. But if you don't have a crypto account or crypto wallet, you can create one very easily on an IMIQ and then just enter your wallet address over here. If you have a Bitcoin wallet, you can enter your uh, wallet account public key over here. If you have an Ethereum one, you can just add your public key over here and that is all you have to do. You don't have to worry about anything and just make sure if you're on mainnet that you convert it to testnet, but most people are on mainnet. So if I was to take an example from over here, let's say we have MetaMask over here, like that, you can unlock this like so. 
So you have this and now you're just going to copy your account then you're going to paste it over here now after that you can click on save changes so this is our ethereum wallet over here and we can copy our address so i've just copied this specific part of my little wallet address you can just do copy like so and then you don't have to copy you know your entire metamask account so in this way, you can enable payments from uh, cryptocurrencies onto your website. Now, uh, to make sure that you have this option available on the product section, you're going to go into your settings and you want to go into your payments. And in your payments, you want to make sure you've enabled them. So uh, you can add the payment and if you haven't enabled it, it won't show up on your website. So to make sure that it appears on your website, you have to just go into payments and enable it. So direct bank transfer, cash on delivery, and cryptocurrency checkout by NIMIQ. So you have to make sure you do this, and then you want to click on save changes on the bottom left. Now, once you have completed all of this information, you will be able to start accepting, um, you know, cryptocurrencies and you can change, you know, the address that you have. You can change the specific place that you're using. If you want to keep it simple, you can create a NIMIQ wallet. You can just click on get started and click on new wallet and it takes like a couple of seconds to create a wallet. So that will enable you to get the most out of this integration but having any kind of open source wallet is going to be fine for your business so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video